List the journey of St Muirdex College team participating in the Formula One and Schools Technology Challenge. The challenge is to make, design and race a miniature Formula One car. We're going to the World Finals, there are going to be 42 countries represented and we will be up against the top team in every one of those countries. I suppose I just heard about the competition uh, last year um, on the radio actually, uh, the champions from last year were on the uh, Mark Cooper show and um, I just stuck in a school the next day and said, you know, this is something that I'd like to do, it seemed interesting. We looked up some information about the competition to see, you know, what it, what it took, that it is the largest recognised competition in the world that promotes all four STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering and maths. Uh, that was average enough, so we can do better, but like... We looked at the strengths of everyone on the team. For example, uh, and there's always been good at practical subjects, so we did the like, technology for um, junior cert. I'm resources manufacturing manager. Uh, I'm in charge of buying all materials necessary to make the car. I'm also in charge of merchandising and uh, team kits as well. This one here is the purple is to represent AIB, the main sponsor. Uh, the yellow then just basically stands out. And My role as graphic designer is basically to make sure all visual presentations are produced to the highest standard. So you're talking about the portfolio, uh, marketing and social media plan, uh, also the pit split. My job to contact all sponsors and try and convince them to come on board and to support our team. And then myself, I've always had, I suppose, an interest in design and things and uh, engineering and uh, math is one of my strongest points. So uh, I said I'd take on the role of design engineer then. At the national finals, we uh, won three awards. We were the best no newcomer to the school, so we were the uh, first team from Nordex to do the competition. We also won the fastest Formula One car, uh, so we, the, we actually hold the Irish record for the fastest car, 1.06 seconds, and the world record is 1.003. Might sound very small, but you know there's a lot need to be changed. But it's achievable, and definitely now with the new changes in uh, rules and regulations ahead of the uh, world finals this year. Uh, we're definitely aiming at a faster time than we have the national finals. We have different softwares on the computer, such as CFD, um, which is Computational Fluid Dynamics. Uh, that allows us to um, kind of see where the car is at in terms of um, drag. So we're able to slowly analyse the um, car models, and then we can refine them and go back and test them again. Yeah. So back there and there as well. Well, we noticed that a lot of careers um, in recent years. Um, are mostly opening up in engineering and science. That's another reason why we undertook this project, because we knew having this sort of experience was invaluable in years to come. The challenge now is we're heading off to the World Finals in Singapore in September. Um, so what we have to do is overhaul every aspect of the competition, our engineering, our car design, our social media, our marketing, our sponsor base. Uh, we need to raise about €30,000, um, that costs broken down between flights, accommodation, uh, building the car, building the pit display and helping us be the best we can be, uh, representing Ireland in Singapore. Our team, we're going places, you know, we're going to the World Finals. Uh, sponsoring us could benefit them as much as it could us because their name in the Asian market could be huge for them. There will be international media attention. Um, there will be Formula One drivers, engineers, many of the teams come in and actually watch the competition. Uh, they're also getting logos on team kit and there'll be logos on our display stand as well. So it's all about the return on investment. It's absolutely wonderful competition. It rewards innovation, uh, critical thinking, teamwork, the collaborative approach, which is what every business wants these days and these young men are really developing those skills and putting them into action. We are determined to be the strongest competitors in Singapore this September. We need your help to succeed in this goal. With your support, you could be a part of this winning team.